All right, everyone. Hi, it's Efren from Passpoint One Comics. Happy October 1st. I figured I'd get this month off in a good way by showing you comic books that are going to be coming out on October 6th, New Comic Book Day. I usually do this video or I have it on my YouTube channel like on a Sunday or Monday, but I have time on my hands. So I said, oh, what the heck, I'm going to do it today. So it gets a jump on anybody who is uh, looking to see which comic books are coming out next week. And uh, let me see anything else. Oh yeah, as usual, whomever watches my videos, you know, I always do appreciate it. Um, I just like doing these YouTube videos and showing comic books, either my own or ones that are coming out next week. You know, I do interviews, um, I go to comic book stores, I, I tape inside their store, uh, whatever I feel like doing. If I can do it, I will do it when it comes to comic books, of course. Um, so without much further ado, oh yeah, um, I'm still, I always say this, um, I'm still cleaning and pressing my own books, you know, it's going okay. Uh, I've, gotten a, I've gotten a lot more comfortable doing that, you know, a lot more sure of myself. I still take my time. <laughs> I don't want to ruin a book and knock on wood I never have. But like I said, these are just books that are going to be coming out October 6th. And there's also going to be annuals in this book or any variants or reprints. So away we go. Let me uh, lower my screen here. Okay, away we go. So the first one is uh, Batman number 114, um, Batman Fear State. Then we have Amazing Spider-Man, some uh, New Mutants, Excalibur, uh, The Nice House on the Lake number five by DC Comics. I've been reading this book. It's a really good storyline. I'm really glad I picked up these issues. And if you haven't read it, I give it one of my Passpoint One's thumbs up, <laughs> okay? Uh, Marvel Comics Dark Ages, and Hellions, and uh, Captain Marvel 33, I like this cover. Next we have Deadpool, Black, White, and Blood. Uh, Firepower by Scout, Skybound, it's another Robert Kirkman book, I like this story also. Uh, Defenders 3. The Me You Love in the Dark by Image Comics. Some more Suicide Squad, Savage Avengers, some uh, Star Wars, and DC, uh, The Swamp Thing number eight. Um, we have some more Walking Dead Deluxe, Champions, Arkham City, a couple of, uh, another IDW Star Wars books, The High Republic Adventures. Batman The Adventures Continue, some Mighty Morphin, Buffy, and DC Justice League Infinity. Next up, um, Are You Afraid of Dark Seed by uh, DC Comics number one. A Righteous Thirst for Vengeance, Image Comics number one. The Conjuring, uh, The Lover number five, Wonder Woman. The last book you'll ever read, number three. I, I haven't read this book at all. I, I, got, I got the book, but I just haven't read it yet. Uh, Crush and Lobo, I've been really enjoying this series. Some Eternals and Joker, Puzzle Box, number three. Uh, Magic the Gathering, seven. Money Shot, 15. Lucky Devil. Bad Idea, The Lot, number four. Another book I gotta read. Uh, Avengers, Tech on three. I've been reading this book. I didn't think I'd like it, but I did. <laughs> so another one I'm buying. Basically, if um, the Avengers lost all their powers and they're all suiting up, thanks to Tony Stark, basically, and that's where his story goes from there. Of course, you know, calamity. You know, what are they going to do? This enemy. But I liked it. I didn't think I would, but I did. Um, more Rick and Morty presents Snuffle Goes to War number one. I've never read a Rick and Morty book. I think I have two or three of them. I've never ever seen the series on TV either. I just haven't. <laughs> so, Batman 114 by DC Comics. Another DC book, Soul Plumber number one. When I uh, buy my books on a uh, monthly basis, I buy them, you know, I pre-order them and I go through my list, I double, I triple check them to make sure I'm getting the ones that I want. I do look for number ones and um, that I think will be good stories to read. And to me, as much as you know, I like it when a book goes up in price, I'm not saying I don't. What drives me is when I started reading comic books, I just, obviously I like the story and it's always continued my whole life. Uh, we have Aftershock, Chicken Devil, number one. IDW book, Star Wars Adventures, 
Ghost of Vader's Castle 3. If anybody is wondering, you know, Marvel does own Star Wars books and movies, the whole thing, obviously. But they do have a contract with IDW Publishing where they do get, IDW does publish books that are under the Disney umbrella. But they do, you know, Star Wars is one of them. Uh, we have Zombie Trap 82. The Amazing Spider-Man number 75. This is a Gleason Webhead variant. I think Peter Parker is going to be going away for a while. I'm not sure for how long. But, you know, he always goes away. And then he comes back. And then we always buy it when he comes back because we want that issue. <laughs> so we have White number 4 by Black Mass Studios. Uh, Last Flight Out number 2. Another book that I bought. I just haven't read yet. Uh, looks like Star Star Trek year number 25. Looks kind of psychedelic 1960s vibe to this book. Uh, next up, we have Out by Artists, Writers, and Artisans, number one. Aftershock, uh, Almost American. Pirate Queen, number two. Batman 114, uh, another Rick and Morty, which I will never read. <laughs> and uh, we have Seven Swords, number four by Aftershock. A Blaze, The Cimmerinian, Beyond the Black River, number one. Uh, Amazing Spider-Man, number 75, Young Variant. If anybody has seen my videos, there's certain artists, you know, like I said, I do read the stories. I really enjoy the stories first. But if there's any book that I buy, one of the artists is Scotty Young. I just like the way he draws his kid-like characters. And whenever I see one, whether it's a good story or a bad story, <laughs> hopefully it's a good story, but I'll buy it. So I'm getting this one for sure. Uh, Helions, number four, a Jusco Marvel masterpiece of Psylocke. I'm getting this one. I think it's an awesome looking um, cover. They were trading cards, these covers. So uh, now they're making them into covers. But yeah, I'm getting this one. Uh, another Amazing Spider-Man, number 75, is another Joe Jusco variant. Uh, another Nice House on the Lake, cardstock variant. George R. Martin, Clash of the Kings, number 15 by Dynamite. Uh, Marvel Ages, uh, I mean, sorry, Marvel Comics Dark Ages, number two. A Megan Hetrick variant, I like this one, I might get it. Uh, Inhil Glee variant, Amazing Spider-Man 75. There's a lot of Amazing Spider-Man 75 variants. I don't mind variants, I mean, I like them, but sometimes I just think they just go overboard. And, you know, if I had the cash all the time, I would probably get most of them. But I pick and choose which ones I like. Uh, Dark Horse Comics, Worst Dudes, number five, by Dynamite, Jennifer Blood, number one. As I stated earlier, I try to look out for number ones, and I'm getting this one for sure. Uh, next up, we have another Amazing Spider-Man 75. More, there's going to be a lot, probably at least four or five more, I'm assuming. Uh, this is another one. This is a Ron Lim variant. This may give a hint of who's gonna be the next Spider-Man, this character right in the middle, you know who he is. Uh, Wonder Woman 80th Anniversary 100 page super spectacular number one. Uh, IDW, like I mentioned before, IDW has some rights to publish Marvel characters. And this is another one, Marvel Actions Origins number four. Uh, American Mythology, Willy's Wonderland number one. Okay, great looking cover. <laughs> Okay, see what it's about. Horror Comics, number seven. Uh, the Swamp Thing, number eight. Everfrost, number four. If anyone buys every comic book on this list, let me know and leave a comment. I'd be curious to see who, who's, if anybody has ever bought every freaking book that comes out on a weekly basis. Uh, Marvel Comics, Dark Ages, number two. It's a one in 50 Ryan Stegman variant. Another Amazing Spider-Man, number 75. Inhyuk Lee, Virgin Variant, one in 100. Anybody who's, if you're new to my channel, when they say one to 100, one to 50, one to 10, that means a store, an LCS, local comic book store, has to buy at least 10 comic books, um, I believe of the regular cover, for them to get one of these. So this is a one in 100. That means he's gotta buy, they have to buy 100 issues of this one book, not this cover, but the regular cover, and then they'll get this one in 100. And then they sell it to the general public, such as myself, and if I like this one, this book is probably gonna be up, I'd say about 100 bucks, but it's a one in 100. And this one right here, going back to it, this is a one in 25, so they have to buy 25 books to get this cover. 
Uh, Dark Horse Comics, Eight Picks Legends, Overtime number three. Oh, to Hell with Mad, Mad Magazine number 22, Pass. Hey Kids Comics, Profits and Loss number six by Image. Another amazing Spider-Man 150. This is a 1 in 50 Ditko Hidden Gem variant. This one grabs my interest. Um, if anybody has been reading Spider-Man and knows his history, the original book, the original artist was Steve Ditko. So this is a hidden gem variant. So I may see what this one is worth. And if it's in my price range, I may get it. Uh, Dark um, DC Comics, Arkham City, The Order of the World, number one. Like this is another number one issue, so I'm gonna keep my eye out on this one. Uh, the Amazing Spider-Man. Here we go. I'm not gonna say Amazing Spider-Man anymore. You'll get, you'll see it here that what it's about. <laughs> Destiny New York one, Wonder Woman another 80 anniversary 100 page super spectacular number one. This is by Bruce Tim. Broken Souls Ballad number four by Scout Comics. Antarctic Press, Death by Life, Star Wars War of the Bounty Hunters number five, Christopher Action Figure. They may, oh, I said I wasn't going to say it anymore, but it pops up. The Avengers Spider Man number 75, Mike Mayhew, variant A. If you're into tennis shoes, this is the book for you. Uh, Avengers, another tech on number three, Zorro Flights number one by American Mythology. Excalibur 24, Marvel Comics 33, another Walking Dead Deluxe 24, The Great Gatsby number two by Clover Press. Uh, Captain Marvel 33, Excalibur 24, Ninjas and Robert, Ninjas and Robots number 11 by Keen Spot. Another Star Wars War of the Bounty Hunters number five, The Billy, Kit number one by Blue Juice Comics. I like the cover. I may get this one. <laughs> so, uh, Zenoscope, Van Helsing, Beast of Exmoor number one. Another Wonder Woman 80th anniversary. Another Juice variant. This is the uh, Submariner Defenders number three. The Walking Dead, We Are the Walking Dead, another deluxe number 24. Savage Avengers with Conan. I've been reading this storyline and it is pretty good. I thought it wouldn't be, but it's mostly focuses on Conan. But he, you know, teams up with other um, characters in a Marvel, you know, universe. But they don't. I don't think they call themselves Savage Avengers. This is the title that was just given to the book. Uh, New Mutant number twenty-two. Batman: The Adventures Continue, season two, number five, cover B, Bacard stock variant. Um, exciting Comics number 16, uh, The Dark Caravan number 1, Chamber of, Tor Chamber of Terror uh, by Advent Comics number 1, Dirtbag Rapture number 1 by Oni Press, uh, we got an Archie book, and Xenoscope, Bell, Headless Horseman, Fault Comics, the, another the last book you'll ever read number 3. The Conjuring, The Lover number five by DC. Another Deadpool, Black, White, and Blood number three by Marvel. Vault Comics, uh, the cover's not available yet. They better get going. <laughs> they got less than seven days. Another Deadpool book. Let's see what else we got here. Um, Titan Books, Rivers of London, Monday, Monday number four. Helions, 16. Another Crush and Noble number five. Intrusion One Shot by Heavy Metal, uh, some War of the Bounty Hunter books by Marvel, a Joker Presents by DC Comics, another War of the Bounty Hunters, coming soon, Suicide Squad number eight, uh, Zombie Terrors Halloween Special number one by Asylum Press, uh, DC Comics Are You Afraid of Darkseed, Scout Comics Headless number one, War of the Bounty Hunters, Star Wars The High Republic by IDW, uh, Wonder Woman 80th Anniversary. I like this cover, let me get this one. This, is like, this looks like old school Wonder Woman, her uh, outfit here. And I think this probably is Steve Trevor in the background here. Beyond the Farthest Star by American Mythology. Some Dark Ages books by Marvel. Absolute Comics Group by Darkon, 
uh, absolute, absolute comics group, Darkon number five. Um, DC Comics, Arkham City, The Order of the World number one. Boom Studios, Magic the Gathering, uh, Defenders number three. If you haven't heard by now, Stephen Strange, rest in peace until you come back. Uh, American Mythology Monsters, number two. Uh, who knows? <laughs> but that is a Walking Dead Deluxe 24, but there's no coming soon. So I don't, I don't believe it's a blank cover. Choose wisely when you buy your books. I'm always saying this, you know, I go over my list and double and triple check. Do I really want this? You know, it's a good story. And of course, the artwork does grab me at times and I buy the book. Like I said, um, when it comes to Scotty Young books or um, J. Scott Campbell's, I like his books. Um, so it all depends on the cover sometimes. Marvel Comics, Eternal Celestia, number one. Red Sonia, number two by Dynamite. Alias Black and White, number one by Antarctic Press. Dijon Hunter, three by Blackout Comics. Um, Asylum Press, Vampires, Macrab. Halloween Special number one, another Jennifer Blood number one by Dynamite. Um, Miles Morales Spider Man, this is an homage to Amazing Spider Man number 300. Uh, Planet Comics number four by Antarctic Press. Some Star Wars books. Uh, Rick and Morty, which I've never read and never will. Another The Me You Love in the Dark. Hath No Fury number one. Wonder Woman, uh, 80th Anniversary, Star Wars, Zombie Tramp. Um, my next video, if anybody watches this video through the, all the way through, is I'm gonna be doing some more unboxings, which I always like doing. When I first started doing my YouTube channel, my videos, I would always do unboxings 99% of the time, and I still do them all. I'm also trying to do interviews. If anybody wants to interview with me, let me know, and I will set you up. Um, I've done artists, I've interviewed the writers of, uh, I interviewed Tony Fleece from Stray Dogs, the Miranda Brothers from We Live. Um, I've gone to comic book stores. Um, I've interviewed artists um, on my channel. I have a, a listing of all, like I think of all my interviews in one little um, corner of my uh, YouTube channel. You should be able to, see, you'll see it when, it, when you get there. <laughs> I couldn't get the words out. Uh, Absolute Comics Group, Wayward Sons number five, Wonder Woman, Eternals book again, another Jennifer Blood book, another Star Wars books, Wayward Legend uh, number eight by Absolute, um, Wonder Woman 80th Anniversary by Natalie Sanders. Some books and some artists I've seen so many times, 99% of the time I know who the artist is without looking at the name. Uh, this is another Wonder Woman book. Uh, Dark Ages number two, an homage, another homage to Amazing Spider-Man 300, uh, Zombie Tramp, some Red Sonja books, any uh, Mighty Morphin comic book lovers out there? Here you go. Uh, another The Me You Love in the Dark by Image, Wonder Woman again, Van Helsing, Beast of Exmoor number one by Xenoscopes, um, Star Wars books, War of the Bounty Hunters. This is a Todd Nock variant. I've met Todd Nock, one of the nicest people in the comic book industry. He always takes time to talk and just chat, you know, and is, I've gotten some commissions from him. Uh, I'll try showing them in one of my uh, future videos, so maybe I'll start just showing my commissions. Uh, it's a good idea. I'm going to do a video on my commissions. <laughs> okay, <laughs> got that to look forward to. Uh, Magic the Gathering, number seven by Boom Studios. Uh, another Mighty Morphin, Vault Comics, Money Shot number 15, American Mythology, Pelusi Dar, Across Savage Seas number 2, Advent Comics, South Side number 1, another Wonder Woman, 80th Anniversary, Zombie Trap, Tramp, another Magic the Gathering, uh, coming soon, Soul Plumber number 1 by DC Comics, Red Sonja Books, oh, this is by... I've, I'm not okay. This has to do to me. If anybody has read Stray Dogs, I think this may be by Tony Fleece, the the cover, because his book Stray Dogs and the the way these dogs look like look exactly like from his book. Um, Bell Headless Horseman number one by Zenoscope, coming soon. Uh, IDW Star Wars books, a righteous 
Thirst for Vengeance, number one by Image. I may get this one. It's a number one. Uh, Red Sonia by Dynamite. Absolute um, Comics Group, Absolute Flip Book, number five. Almost looks like Wonder Woman to me. Uh, Mighty Morphin, number 12 by Boom. Ninja Scouts, number one by Scout Comics. Dynamite the Boys, Gold Foil Edition. Another Jennifer Blood. I'm getting this book. I hope it's a good book. I'm buying more than one of them. Another Magic the Gathering by Boom. Uh, American Mythology, another Woolies Wonderland, number one. Soul Plumber, coming soon. Magic the Gathering, Wonder Woman, some Red Sonia books. Uh, Mighty Morphin. Yeah, there's always a lot of uh, variants for books. Uh, Woolies Wonderland, Wonder Woman books. Another Buffy, The Vampire Slayer, number 30. Cimmerinian, Beyond the Black River, number one. Don't know what happened to this cover, but Echolands, number one, second print variant. Jennifer Blood, Beyond the Black River. Uh, Ablaze, number one, another Buffy book. Here we go with some more Archie. Comics Experience Publishing, Stud and the Blood Blade, number two. Artists, Writers, and Artisans, Inc., out number one. Cover B, another IDW Marvel action book. Howling Snow, a Kung Fu Fable by Comics Experience Publishing. The Living Corpse Relics, number three by American Mythology. Some more Red Sonia, Rick and Morty, Vampirella, Wonder Woman, Barbarella, number three by Dynamite, The Cimmerinian, Beyond the Black River, number one. This is an homage to, I believe, Incredible Hulk 377. I've been into comic books for so long. When I see a certain book, I know it's an homage. Nine times out of ten, I know this is an homage to another cover. Uh, the Great Gatsby, number two, by Clover Press. Uh, Van Helsing, Beast of Exmoor, number one. Vampirella, 24. Uh, Star Wars, Adventures, Ghost of Vader's Castle, number three. Another Star Trek, Year 5, Experience and Loss, number 25. A Righteous Thirst for Vengeance, number one. Red Sonia, Black, White, and Red, number three. Uh, another Red Sonia, number one. Second printing by Dynamite. Out, number one. Another by Artists, Writers, and Artisans, Inc. I think we're coming close to the end here. Uh, Zell, Zenoscope, Bell, Headless Horseman, number one. Uh, Chicken Devil, number one. Cover B, 1 in 15 Incentive, Another Righteous Thirst for Vengeance by Image, Ablaze, Another The Cimmerinian, Beyond the Black River, um, Beyond the Black River, I think this is a virgin cover of, uh, I showed this one before, but it's a virgin cover, and like I said, this one is an homage to Incredible Hulk 377, uh, Dynamite, Die, Namite, Lives, number four, cover J, and cover K. Righteous Thirst for Vengeance. Like I said, this looks to me like a, a crossover between Red Sonia and Stray Dogs. <laughs> See if it is. Red Sonia Books, Paradise Towers by Cutaway Comics, Paradise Found, number one. Artists, Writers, and Artisans, and out, number one, another book coming soon. The lot, number one, second printing. Jennifer Blood by Dynamite, another Echo Lands, number one, second print, one in 25 incentive by Image. A Righteous Thirst for Vengeance uh, by Image. Vampire Macabre, Halloween Special Number 1. Another Vampirella, 22. Oh, I like this cover. Uh, let's see, it was Cover J, Limited Virgin. This one right here. I like this cover. It's different from our usual Vampirella books or covers. Blue Juice Comics, Billy the Kit Number 1. Uh, the Cimmerinian, Beyond the Black River by Ablaze. Another, all these last three are from... The same book, just different covers. Uh, Red Sonia, number two. Ninjas and Robots, number 11 by Keen Spot. Some more Ninjas and Robots. Marvel Action Origins, number four. Another Jennifer Blood. Dirtbag Rapture, number one. Cover B by War by Oni Press. Absolute Comics Group, Dark Con, number five. Cover B, Virgin Hollow Foil. A lot of books every week. Dynamite Red Sonia number two. 
and my dogs haven't made any noise so far. Knock on wood. I think I'm jinxing myself. My dogs usually growl or bump into something when I'm doing my videos, but they're asleep. So uh, Dynamite Red Sonia number two. Tangled River number two. Vampir Vampiverse number one by Dynamite. Wayward Sons five by Absolute Comics Group. Uh, Willy, another Willie's Wonderland number one by American Mythology. George R. Martin, A Game of Thrones, Clash of the Kings, 15. Dynamite, Deja Thoris versus John Carter of Mars, number three. And some more, Barbarella, three by Dynamite. Intrusion, Heavy Metal, One Shot, another Jennifer Blood. A lot of Jennifer Blood covers out there. Let's see which ones I get. Sonya Versal, um, number eight by Dynamite. Vampirella Macabre, Macabre, Halloween special number one by Asylum Press. Headless number one by Scout Comics. Dirtbag Rapture One coming soon. Cookie and the Kid number three by Antarctic Press. I try to show most of the comic books that are coming out every week. I know the big ones always wants Marvel, Image, Boom Studios, um, DC. But I try to show um, the smaller publications also. Somebody, you know, I buy them every now and then. You know, they catch my interest. American Mythology, Zoro Flights number one. American Mythology, Willie's Wonderland. Absolute Comics Group, Wayward Legends 8. Another Vampiverse number one by Dynamite. Cover M. Hughes. It says signed. So who knows how much this one is. It's 49 bucks, it says. Yikes. Pass. <laughs> Another Jennifer Blood. A lot of Jennifer Bloods out here. American Mythology, The Living Corpse 3, uh, Paradise Found, uh, Paradise Towers, Paradise Found, number one by Cutaway Comics, Stud and the Blood Blade, number two, Tangled River, number two, Vampiverse, number one by Dynamite. Let me see, American Mythology, Beyond the Farthest Star, some Archie Comics books. American Mythology, American Mythology Monsters 2, another Zorro book, another Willy's Wonderland number one by American Mythology, Howling Snow, a Kung Fu Fable number one by Comics Experience Publishing, some more Jennifer Blood, got a lot of Jennifer Bloods here, Paradise Towers uh, Found, uh, Paradise Towers, Paradise Found number one by Cutaway Comics. American Mythology, Pellucidar, Across Savage Seas, number two, cover B. The Rivers of London, Monday, Monday, number four, by Titan Books. And that is it. Yay, I did them all. <laughs> and I didn't stumble too much. I usually stumble, but some of these titles are tongue twisters, but uh, I did pretty good, I think. I give myself props. So, yeah, um, you know, like I said, I was just trying to show you some of these books that are um, coming out. Um, every week and I decided to do it earlier this week to get everybody a chance not like the last minute so to speak of, of books I know new comic book day was just the last week was just on Wednesday um, but you know I had times so I said heck I'm gonna do it right now and you know I'm gonna try to get this out today which is Friday October 1st um, this is Halloween month so once again this is Efren uh, Passpoint One Comics as usual, like I said, you know, whomever watches my videos, um, I always appreciate it. If you like what you see, hit that like, subscribe, and notification button. Until next time, everybody be safe and buy the call books that you like, and hopefully you'll read them all. Take care.